I am here with Vince Ippolito, who is the president and executive chairman of Botanics Pharmaceuticals, who has some really exciting news to share. First of all, great to be with you. you. Uh, can you tell us more about yourself and Botanics as well? Sure. Well, Botanics is an ASX-listed dermatology company that focuses on novel solutions for common skin diseases and infections. We do this by utilizing the unique anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties of synthetic cannabidiol, or CBD. Combined with a proprietary topical delivery system we call Permatrax. Today in our clinical platform in dermatology, we have three ongoing programs. One in acne, one in rosacea, and one in atopic dermatitis. On the anti-infective side of the program, program number 1801 is about to kick off this quarter and we just got some exciting news from the FDA. We've been given QIDP, which is a Qualified Infectious Disease Program designation, which heightens the awareness and importance of the program with the FDA. Yeah. Myself, well, I'm 35 years in the pharmaceutical industry. The vast majority of that has been in dermatology. I started my career with uh, Novartis Pharmaceuticals, where I spent 17 years. And matter of fact, uh, was one of the key people that kicked off the dermatology division at Novartis. We launched a couple of big blockbuster drugs in dermatology there. After leaving Novartis, I entered the world of startup, which looks a lot like Botanics today. The first company was called Metasys, and uh, that company we built uh, to the largest independent dermatology company and sold that company actually for $2.4 billion to Valiant Pharmaceuticals. After leaving Metasys, went to another startup that looks a lot like Botanics here today. Uh, we developed some clinical assets and uh, we sold that company to Pfizer for $5.2 billion. So I've been very active in the space ever since and been with Botanics here about three years now. Now Botanics just recently announced a newly acquired asset for the treatment of hyperhidrosis. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, Botanics acquired from Brickle Bioscience soft peronium bromide, which is currently being prepared for an FDA filing approval here in the back half of the year. Soft peronium bromide, if approved by the FDA, will be the first and only new chemical entity approved for the treatment of axillary hyperhidrosis, which is excessive sweating in the armpits. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about HH and, and maybe some unique market opportunities out there? The uh, market opportunity for hyperhidrosis is big. Excessive sweating, you know, you and I know sweating through temperature changes, when we exercise, but people with hyperhidrosis are not necessarily triggered by these things. They continually sweat. There's approximately 15 million Americans with hyperhidrosis today. And when you survey these people, upwards of 75% of them say it has a big impact on their daily living. The market is pretty big in prescription products. Uh, today, it's estimated to grow to about $2.8 billion by 2030. And how are those patients treating HHD right now? There's the real market opportunity here. So of those uh, 15 million Americans that have hyperhidrosis today, about half of them seek active treatment with physicians. So first off, you've got seven to eight million Americans out there that don't even know there are great treatment options to treat the disease. So the other seven or eight million that are in doctor's offices today, the interesting fact about that is, is that the vast majority of those patients either go undiagnosed or untreated today. So there's a great opportunity for Botanics to offer a new and exciting treatment for patients who are currently in the doctor's offices looking for new solutions today. So let's say you have hyperhidrosis today. Well, the treatment options aren't really great today. Most patients start with topical agents, topical antiperspirants. They can move to clinical strength uh, antiperspirants. Now, many of those products contain a product called aluminum chloride which you can have burning and stinging of the skin, and it really can lack in its efficacy and control of the disease. Patients from there would progress maybe to other agents, but the next bucket of prescription products are older and reformulated products, such as things as oral products or other topicals or wipes. One of the big problems with this class of drugs is you can experience anticholinergic effects from taking them. So, you know, you and I may know anticholinergic effects from taking a sedating antihistamine like a, a, a Benadryl or diphenhydramine where we've gotten dry mouth, dizziness, blurred vision, maybe urinary retention or just sleepiness. 
So you can imagine, if you're suffering from hyperhidrosis on a daily basis, now you've got the trade-offs of these side effects or sweating. Most patients just choose to sweat because they don't want those side effects. More advanced patients go into more invasive procedures, such as you could get botulinum toxin injections or Botox. Most people don't like needles in their armpits. Um, you could get a medical device that will actually sever the nerve. Uh, to stop the production of sweat or even surgical procedures to sever the nerve. You know, now we're talking about a whole host of complications and side effects. Yeah, very dramatic. Why is SB so dramatically different then? Soft peronium bromide is a topical agent that's applied directly to the infected area of the skin. Once applied to the skin then, the molecule targets the sweat gland receptor which triggers the nerve ending for excessive sweat production, thus being able to modulate that overall sweat production then. When it's metabolized through the body then, it's converted to a less active metabolite and it's excreted quickly to minimize the side effects associated with it. Matter of fact, in our phase three clinical trials, what we saw in side effects is they were generally mild or moderate and there were no treatment related serious side effects associated with the trial. And your indication is for axillary hyperhidrosis. Are there other forms of HHD? Yes, there are. The vast majority of patients are axillary hyperhidrosis. Matter of fact, 10 of the 15 million patients suffer from axillary. The interesting fact is, is that 90% of people with axillary hyperhidrosis also have it either on the face, the neck, the chest, the back, the hands, or the feet. Now, does HHD have a significant impact in the patient's daily life? Yeah, you, you can imagine these patients have excessive daily sweating. And in surveys of these patients, upwards of 80% of patients say it has an impact on their physical health, their mental health, their well-being, their self-esteem, the relationships, what they may have with a spouse or a loved one, or even their overall work. 54% of patients in that survey also said they would pay anything to stop their excessive sweating. Tell us at a high level the results of the phase three clinical data. So the phase three clinical data is out there in the public domain right now, so people can look up the data as it is. But at a, at a high level, first off, the data was presented in the fourth quarter of last year, and then it was represented again just recently at the American Academy of Dermatology meeting. So the trial is a placebo-controlled, randomized, one-to-one, -one, uh, double-blind study of about 700 patients, nine years of age and older. It ran for six weeks of duration on soft peronium bromide. The results of the trial is what really led us to purchase this asset from Brickell. We were very impressed with the overall results of the trial and the quality of the trial that they conducted. All of the co-primary and secondary endpoints were not only met, but they hit statistical significance in the trial. One of the pieces of data that just leaped out at us in the clinical trial was that 85% of patients had a clinically meaningful outcome as reported in patient reported outcomes. Now is SB approved anywhere else in the world currently? Yes it is, in Japan. Matter of fact, our partner, Kaken Pharmaceuticals, which is one of the leading pharmaceutical companies in Japan, is our partner with SB. The drug was approved in late 2020 in Japan and they commercialized it in 2021. So you can imagine, we're not only thrilled to have a major Japanese pharmaceutical company as our partner here, but as we think about commercializing and launching this drug, we already have a major pharmaceutical company that's already gone through the steps, which significantly de-risks our launch efforts and commercialization efforts for botanics. And so what are the next steps for SB? Well, first off, this is a really exciting time at the company. We have a, a clinical platform right now that's currently underway with many milestones that are gonna read out in the near future here. So that's very exciting within itself. But now we have soft peronium bromide that we're looking to file here in the back half of the year and get it approved by the FDA. Now given the normal course of action with the FDA, we might be looking at an approval in late 2023 and a launch shortly thereafter with this drug. So we're pretty excited that we're sitting in a position where we're gonna be commercializing an asset far farther ahead than we thought we would be in the past We'll be generating revenue as a company sooner than we thought. And now we have a clinical platform of products that, if approved, we have a steady stable of drugs that could launch after soft peronium bromide in the marketplace. 
It's an envy of any dermatology company in this space. You've assembled a remarkable team at Botanics. What can you tell us about the people that help you get the job done? Yeah, it's, it's actually a great team. We've assembled a, a world-class team of board of directors and management. Many of these people have vast dermatology experience. Matter of fact, the team has brought forth from the clinical stage all the way to launch over 30 dermatology assets in themselves. So this is a very seasoned team that we have there. Uh, many of the other team have been in the pharmaceutical industry for 20 or, or 30 years. So quite pleased with the experience base that we have here uh, at Botanics. And what is the current cash situation with Botanics? We're sitting on about $17 million of cash, which is actually enough cash to finish the clinical platform that I spoke to you about, the dermatology assets, the antimicrobial platform. It's enough cash to close the soft peronium bromide deal and get the drug filed for approval with the FDA and normal in operating income for the, co the company. So we're sitting in a pretty good cash position right now. Well, it has been great to be with you today to learn more about Botanics and the acquisition and certainly best of luck as you move forward with approval. Thank you. This has really been my pleasure. And I would encourage investors that want to learn more about Botanics to visit our website.